Debbie Walters may have the biggest dollhouse you've ever seen. When my children were very, very small, I built custom dollhouses in my home. And, of course, it's hard to punch a clock with tiny children. So I wanted to start a business that I liked, and so that's how the dollhouse evolved, and from dollhouses to collectible dolls, because people came into the store looking for dolls, and I only had dollhouses. So I thought, well, now there's something to this doll thing. Let's, let's check this out. And now the business has become more dolls than doll houses. Debbie dazzles with a drove of different dolls. The most uh, well-known dolls that we have in the store are, of course, the new and modern collectible Barbies. And Madame Alexander's are a big drawing card for our store because we carry a complete line of Madame Alexander dolls. They've been in business for years and years. Debbie's dolled up with playthings from the 1800s to the 1950s and 60s. She buys old estate collections and appraises others. She even repairs dolls. So with most of Debbie's life being lived in one big dollhouse, the obvious question is, does she ever get tired of all the dolls? Oh, never, never. Once that uh, I started in this business, it's so exciting. It's like every day is Christmas. And she says the people she deals with are dolls. People who just enjoy life and enjoy pretty things, but enjoy, you know, the, the ambience of what a doll means to you. And let's face it, frankly, my dear, Dolls mean a lot to Debbie. It's going to be my life, my life, the rest of my life, and uh, I couldn't think of anything I'd rather do than this. And with that kind of doll dedication, Debbie might just have the best little dollhouse in Tennessee. In Cable Country, Tim Cable, Eyewitness News 11, Jonesboro.